Well, uh, good morning. Good morning, America. What was that movie? Uh, anyway, for a while today, I could not hear any audio. I think the people who hacked my system or attempted to hack it, I guess they did hack it, um, you know, turned on the, uh, uh, turned off my ability to have any audio. I went through all of the settings and I'm not sure if <clears throat> if I was the one who was able to somehow unblock it or not or whether it's just who knows. So um, today is Thursday I believe. Um, Saturday, I'm getting in a DVD uh, that has on it numerous uh, Linux programs, and I am going to format this Windows computer. Uh, be here someplace. I'm going to format it and put Linux on it, I hope. Because uh, I don't think that these attacks, the type that I got, uh, happen on a Linux computer. Or if it does, I think you can easily fix it and you won't have any more problem. The DVD that I'm getting in um, has, and this is not all of them, but it has Ubuntu on it, uh, Linux Mint, uh, MX Linux, Zorin OS, uh, Linux Lite, I think, I'm not sure, Elementary OS, I'm not sure what that is. Um, there's Linux Minute Cinnamon, and there's Zorin OS, XFCE. So I'm going to try to get one of those. And my preference would be um, I've run Ubuntu quite a few times. I, I think I ran Mint for a very short period of time, and I did like it. Uh, Zorin OS, I paid for that uh, uh, just a few weeks ago, and um, let's see what else, anyway, so now the Zorin uh, I don't know. <clears throat> I paid forty-two dollars, I think, to have it the upgrade, and I messed up. But I, I have the account number, I think, and I could go and. But I think I just may try several of these. I'm thinking of Linux. When I saw Linux. Um, I mean, when I saw Mint, I liked the looks of it, but um, I'm not sure. So I'll see what happens when I get should get here Saturday. Um, today I hooked up the um, what's it called? Where is it? It's laying over there. So oh. Uh, it's not the razor. It was the. Oh, what was it? Oh. <clears throat> Avery Media. No. It was the ray. No, it was the. Uh, 
the one that's on the uh, stand. Oh, crap. Well, one thing, I can't see you. I forgot about that. I can, you know, I need this really to see my screen here. Actually, I can see it pretty well now, except the bottom row is, well, it's, I can see that pretty good. Maybe there's getting, maybe there's some slight improvement coming in this area. Um, it's the, oh, come on, where did I put it? Not the razor. Well, I forget. But uh, it, or maybe it is a razor. But it has three or four camera configuration, or wait a minute, audio variations with it. And I haven't messed with their audio. Well, I have messed with the, you know, like main one. But I haven't messed with the others. And I couldn't get any of them to work. But I just spent a little bit of time doing it. So so I went back to the fee fine, which I'm sure is working good because I, I see my green bars going up there. Um... Let's see here. Time for school to let out? Maybe so. I hear some people talking. Beautiful day here in Fort Worth, Texas. I did not go out and look at the uh, thing the other day. The, uh, but this, the, the sun did leave. <laughs> and it happened pretty, it happened pretty quick. Uh, I didn't even go outside. Darlene didn't go outside. Jimmy was sleeping, I think. And uh, Hillary lives outside of Fort Worth, and she was sending on a cell phone to Dar to uh, Darlene, you know, pictures of the thing out there, and it was moving this way. And finally, it was supposedly here, but it wasn't. You know, it was like ah, uh, you know. And uh, so I think it was like four in the afternoon or something like that, I believe, something like that. And then all of a sudden, it got dark. And then it got darker, and then it got dark. And uh, so uh, that, that lasted a while, and then it was really dark. I mean, you know, it was like nighttime. So... Uh, Um, so Saturday here, I'm hoping that I'll solve some problems. Uh, oh, that's, that's funny. On, uh, Alexa here, it's showing my, uh, This, I must admit, I don't know, yeah. Uh, the fine, fee fine or whatever, and also something else that's gone off the screen now. Shows you what an attention span I have. But uh, something else. Um, let's see, what else is going on in, in life? Oh, I have got... If you happen to be a, well, I could ask my daughter, LaDonna. I put one um, of my Washington, D.C. videos that is on here. I put it on my uh, P-Fine, what is it? TikTok, TikTok on there. And then I tried to put another one on there and I, I had a problem for some something. And I tried again, and I, so I just gave up on it. But maybe today or tomorrow, or 
here I'll put I think there's about about 11 or so of the two weeks that I was in Washington DC and uh, so I'll try to get those on there and then what I want to do is go through and edit the categories that are for uh, my uh, blog here on YouTube. There's some categories. I need to take those categories out um, and just do away with them. I tried to organize, you know, but uh, they're not well organized. I've got a section uh, about Rosie the Riveter type of stuff information because my mother was a welder in the border makers in uh, California during World War II and she was a border maker and uh, so she qualifies as you know one of the rosy riveters um, I was out there when they were uh, previewing the BBS the documentary at that time I was in California so when I got there um, the uh, author of the uh, DVD, he said, Jim, he says, you have come the furthest for this, you know, premiere. And he said, also, he says, I, he says, you know, the, 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 what we're showing now is the way we intend for, you know, this to be. But if you object, we haven't burned them yet the DVDs, but if you object, we'll take out the part. And he says, I said, what? And he says, well, you got the biggest laugh uh, of anything on here, you know. And I said, um, okay, great. I don't, I don't mind. He says, you really don't, he says, you don't care. And I, he says, you want to, you want to see it, hear it? I said, nope. <laughs> so I got the biggest laugh. Uh, I'll go, I'll, don't tell anybody, I'll tell you the the, what the uh, the question was uh, what did you get out of having you know uh, I think this is a question what did you get out of having a, you know a bulletin board system Jim and I said I got laid a few times and then at this premiere or whatever the other people were all laughing you know I'm sure they were looking at me and thinking he got laid I don't think so you know but um, I actually did get laid a few times, not having anything to do with the bulletin board system. But uh, I've talked about that uh, somewhere. I really wish, I'm thinking about it, if, if I could go into all these videos that I have, over 2,000 videos. And if I could go in and edit them, I'm not good at editing at all or anything like that. I just haven't, I don't want to do it. <clears throat> but if I could go in and, you know, edit them into, I think, for some reason I saw just the other day, 10 minutes was the maximum. But I know I saw someplace, uh, something saying that 20 minutes was the maximum that you could, so 20 minutes I could do now, could I go in and uh, take some of my YouTube videos and edit them, you know, down to 20 minutes? No. I mean, uh, the first security officer that was shot at St. Joseph Hospital, I could probably cut that down to 20 minutes. John Galegas, the second security officer who was shot and managed to shoot the guy who shot him. Uh, I, I wouldn't be able to cut that down to 20 minutes, but I guess I could have part one, part two or something because that one is more complicated. Uh, so, yeah. What I need is a TikTok editor, but I'm a poor man. I couldn't afford to pay him anything. I can't afford to pay myself. Um, 
Okay, on those videos that I have that I want to upload, if you happen to be a TikTok person, <clears throat> is there a program? I don't know, is it, uh, let's see, because I think I pay for this one. Uh, Clip Cut, or that says Cap Cut now. <clears throat> Would that do it? Could I, you know, list the, uh, and then just go there and whoop, upload them? You might let me know. Um, by the way, I think I mentioned it, but I'm looking here on my desktop, and I see uh, Razor Cortex. Um, it looks like Razor has th three or four audio of some type so um, if I decide to bring that microphone here I gotta figure out which because I I thought I found I didn't realize at that point there was three or four different configurations for you know so anyway if you happen to know anything about that let me know um, Also, if you happen to know, I know we got a bunch of people here who are real good at Windows and other stuff. When I'm moving my stuff around here, I'm, okay, get your mind out of the gutter here. <laughs> when I start to, okay, see at the top, see how that's coming down, you know, the thing that wants to, you know, connect and Oh, like that. Damn, I hate that. I hate that. I want to turn that off. Surely there's a way that I don't like that. Now, I realize that there's people who are you're doing stuff. I mean, you know, editing stuff and doing stuff or whatever, and you probably, that is something probably great for you, but I don't want it. So is there some way to turn that off? Well, I'm going to be using Linux here, I think, in a week. Whoops, there it is again. I pushed it up too far, see? Come on down, okay, come on down. Um, but I think I did see it in, a, in a, a thing of Linux. I was surprised. I guess it's something that people really like and can use, but I don't. I'm not going to ask your opinion on which would be the best for me to, because uh, it's, it's something people don't agree on. You know, you not just Linux people, but all, you know. But you can go ahead and, you know, if you want to, you can go ahead and leave a comment and say, you know, I love Ubuntu or, you know. I think a bunch of you actually say Mint. We had a little bit of a discussion on here about Mint. I can't really remember. Uh, the pros and cons so much. I do remember, let's see, what was it that... Uh, oh, can't remember which version of Linux. I ran that for a while, and it was interesting. It was designed for people who are editing stuff and doing stuff and creating videos and doing all this kind of stuff. And uh, so I installed it, what was it? I installed it and then the, the simplest thing, I it had everything in it, you know, audio, video, everything. And so I just wanted to make something like this, you know, a simple little, you know, simple little, you know, thing. And I couldn't get audio to work at all because there was like 15 different things to pick. I mean, it was designed for people. This was designed for people who are, you know, making videos, people who are doing audio stuff, people who are doing things, and they had all these choices. So and I forget what they called it. It was whatever it was the name and then something special behind it. 
studio or something. I forget what it was. So then I just deleted it and installed the regular, whichever one it was, and then it worked fine. Then I could just click on sound, and then I, I had the sound, you know. But I did like it, but I didn't like that. that uh, I forget what they called it because it had everything in there that somebody would need who was making something for television or radio or trying to make a movie or do something. So that got me all excited, you know. <laughs> then, then was a pain in the butt for me. Um, I think I mentioned just a while ago Now I forgot. Oh, it was the, yeah. Anyway. In my brain and then it falls out pretty pretty damn quick. Um, I guess we're gonna go for a 30 minute video here. And right now we've got uh, 21 minutes that we've been doing this CPU is at 2.9%, 30 frames a second. Uh, uh, excuse me, the Coke. Um, got a doctor appointment, I mentioned that on the 22nd. And then I've got a appointment the next month. I think that's with my regular doctor and uh, she wants to check a bunch of stuff with me. I've got this shoulder that's comes out of the socket and it's it's the arm that I use for carrying in 24 packs of coke and other stuff and wow. Uh, my doctor's also concerned about how much weight I've lost. I've lost a lot of weight and uh, It's really great being outside now that I've had the cataracts removed on both my eyes. I can really see. Uh, in the past, it's been like I'd be a few feet away from the bus, and I wouldn't be able to read the sign on the bus, you know, on the bus until I was like laying under their wheels, you know. So that's that's nice. Uh, too. I've, I just started noticing some of the things. Well, one of the things I noticed, and I mentioned this in a video before, uh, I've got a scale in my bathroom for weighing, and when you step on it, you know, the light comes on and it stays, but when, when you step off of it, of course, it goes, you know, well. Uh, I, uh, I couldn't, from standing up and looking down, you know, it's an LCD or whatever, what is it, liquid or whatever, you know. Look down, I can't see it. And now if I step off of it so I can bend over or whatever to see it, it goes dark on me too quick. Now I was surprised the other last week or something like that. I looked down and, oh my God, I can read the thing. And uh, there's a whole bunch of things like that that I'm just starting to, you know, notice. Like when I leave here, there's like a block and a half, let's say, to the donut shop and uh, Taco Casa and play, things like that. So when I would leave here and I'd be walking down there, I couldn't, uh, I'm just looking out the window here. Uh, I wouldn't be able to see if the open light was on for the uh, Taco Casa, it always is, I mean, you know, but whenever they open, and uh, 10, I think, um, and the same with the donut place, and I'm just, you know, really happy with the uh, cataract surgery. I mentioned this in a recent video, by the way, though. All my life, well, I don't, I don't know about it as a, as a kid, but uh, I've always had great veins. 
and I worked 30 years in hospital security, I've mentioned this, you know, the nurses would say, Jim, you have the most wonderful veins there. Oh, you know, blah, 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 blah. And uh, even a couple of times, like one elderly LPN nurse, and uh, the hospital kind of decided, well, they didn't, when they, st when they started up the hospital, actually for a little bit they had an EMT uh, and the, an RN in the emergency room, and then they went to, you know, an LPN and an RN and the, and the thing. And then before long, the RNs, you know, were having to do some things because the LPN couldn't do it, and they were complaining. Anyway, there was this elderly, really nice uh, LPN, <clears throat> I think pretty close to retirement. And so they came up with a thing that uh, they had to be certified, uh, and then they could draw, start an IV. That was it. And so this... Uh, Diane, the one nurse, the RN, said to the other nurse, you know, the LPN, have you got your, you know, whatever they called it, you know, yet? And she says, no. And then Diane said, well, how many more sticks do you need? Uh, just one. And and then Diane says, well, you better, better make sure you get that. And then I said, Diane, can I ask you a question? She said, sure. I said, now, does she have to actually stick a patient? I got some good veins here. Uh, you know. I said, you know, she can stick me if she wants to. And uh, Diane said, no, it's, you know, it can be anybody, you know. And I said, okay, to whatever, the, I can't remember her name now, real nice lady. I said, come on over. And, of course, stuck me right away, and she was, she was so happy, you know. So I had that happen a, a few times. Now, they had this, from my cataract, they start an IV, you know. And so, you know, the nurse stuck me in the, uh, in the hand, you know, here. Ouch. And then uh, when I went back for the other one, they stuck me again for that. And, and the second one, you know, the nurse went in there and, I don't think she exactly pulled it out. I think she just kind of moved it around until she found what she was looking for. Uh, also, for my first cataract surgery, uh, the male uh, anesthesiologist came, and he talked to me and asked me a few questions and everything. So then when I went for and everything went okay. And... Uh, then he came for my for my second. He said, "Oh, Mr. Howard." He says, "I." And I said, "Yeah, I remember." Yeah. He said, "Okay." And talk asked me a few questions, you know, and everything. And uh, then he said, "Well," he says, "I see that everything went just fine on that uh, first one." He says, "So I think I'm going to do the same uh, as before because that worked." And then he said, "Nah, maybe not." <laughs> and so. I thought about that, you know, well, if the first one worked, I don't know what, you know, I didn't say anything, you know, so I went in there, and he started it, and then everything goes pretty quick to taking the cataracts out, actually, um, but then, boom, I had, oh, have you, okay, here, you can see, get an idea, see this um, below my picture here, um, that was sort of like the way the sky was. Or, well, well, what I was seeing, except that if things were moving. And I thought, what in the world is this? I wasn't scared or worried or anything, but I thought, what? And I didn't think right away, hey, this is, you know. Uh, because of the uh, anesthetic, I didn't think of that right then. But I wasn't worried, wasn't scared. And then... In my mind, I thought it was the doctor, a female doctor, by the way, really nice, really good. Everybody there at that hospital, for the, the you know, eye hospital, they were great. They got a great bunch there. But, um, you know, then there was this voice screaming at me. And, uh, and it was like, you know, she was saying, look at it, look at it, look at it. And I it was, you know, well, I was looking at it, and I didn't know why, and I didn't, you know, do I have laser eyes or, you know, whatever. I wasn't worried. I wasn't excited or whatever. 
and uh, then pretty you know pretty quick that was over and then they were getting me in the car and everything and I was thinking oh okay that was you know because of the anesthetic and I was thinking that's weird you know I didn't say anything when I you know went back the next day after you have your cataract surgery you have to go back the next morning and have them check it then you know and uh, I didn't say anything because I was afraid somebody might think I was complaining or something like that and I wasn't you know but I would have preferred the first one now with the first one I could sort of feel just barely because that's I think what they do is crush the uh, cataract or whatever and then they insert a lens or whatever that goes in I guess and I guess it goes behind something I'm not sure and then it they don't have to like blow it up or something it, it expands itself or whatever so so that's what I was going through with the first one and uh, you know the crushing sound or whatever that was that didn't bother me and it wasn't loud or anything it wasn't scary or anything like that but that second one was kind of weird I could have done without that uh, 31 minutes, okay, I'm going to stop and upload this, and there'll probably be another video or two with this setup, and then hopefully, cross your fingers, uh, I'll convert this computer over to Linux, and then I think what I'm going to do about the 22nd when I get my Social Security money is buy, I guess I should show you maybe, yeah, let's go. Uh, we have just got to get the fingers on here. Do I want to go? I want to go to uh, Amazon. Okay. Um, let's go to my wish list. Wish list. Okay. I keep posting stuff on the, let's see, wish list, huh. Okay, must not be the wish list, da, da, da. let's see. Gift list for Jim Howard. There it is. Okay. You know, I was thinking of getting, you know, the Dell, because I, this, computer that I got was a Dell, $140, and I was thinking, you know, $277 would be a big improvement, you know, on what I've got now. And this, this little computer is, you know, uh, it's done well for me. Uh, no problems at all. Uh, so I was thinking of this. 277 is a lot of money for me and uh, so then I saw these and uh, so Cyber Greek Nano Mini PC Windows 11 Pro and then it you know tells about it there amount of RAM terabyte and that kind of stuff you know, but I decided, uh, no, I do not want it. I think this is what I'd like to have. I'm not sure if I'll do it or not. Uh, CyberGeek Nano J1 Linux Mini PC. Now it's Mini, I mean it's a, a Linux. Um, Intel quad core, 16 gigabyte of RAM, uh, one terabyte SSD, uh, 4K dual display, uh, Wi Fi Type C, and uh, running Ubuntu OS. Um, Now, I've got a few parts around here, by the way. So I could probably upgrade that. Uh, 
But you know, I think that would just do it uh, right there. Let's see, they have various versions of uh, Ubuntu. Uh, I wonder if the Ubuntu OS is slightly different in, in some way. Let's see. Um, let's go Ubuntu OS. Let's go to YouTube. Oh, help. Okay, I think it may be like a little separate something because it, you know, they have it here as you know, Ubuntu OS, Ubuntu OS review, uh, tutorial, installation, clone. I'm going to click on. I'm going to click on review. Let's see. They pulled it off Ubuntu 23.10 review. Improvements made. Uh, see. Ubuntu, what's new? Latest version, world's most popular Linux operating system. Every six months, Ubuntu's developers treat us to a brand new release, and this is the latest, Ubuntu 2304 Luna Lobster. In this video, I showcase the biggest changes in Ubuntu 2304. I don't want to get a copyright hit. Not that it matters, you know. I don't know why I... Uh, because they... Uh, you can continue to run when you get a copyright hit, there's not, you know, they don't beat you up or anything. But the, uh, any credit or money or whatever would go to, I guess it shouldn't matter to me. Yeah, maybe I should start uh, just letting it play if it's, you know, but not copy somebody's entire, you know, Anyway, um, oh, I need to go back here to accounts. Let's see, gift list. Okay. Okay, this is gift list. That's okay. So what was the other one? Oh, I see the shop. Okay, the shopping list. You people wouldn't see that. That's okay. I haven't been using it that way, which I should. Uh, I should put things on there that. Yeah, I should be doing that. You know, things that I I, I know I'm going to need to order. You know, and stuff like that. Uh, so this is okay because it, you're just going to see if you go there. Wish list for Jim Howard. Yep. You know, I think I positively, I think I should delete, delete this. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And just have that. So here in a couple of weeks, maybe 10 days. Yeah, in about 10 days, I can order this, give it a try. Anyway, I think I've been talking too long. How long have I been talking? Oh, almost 40 minutes. I'm very sorry. Uh,
please, you know, I don't know, do a thumbs up. Uh, I don't know, say a prayer for me or something. I don't know. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching.